Hi, everybody. This is Matt Halls of The Happy Show, and I'm here today with a video vlog, and that is Monday. I feel like crap. It's Monday. No, I feel all right. And uh, what day is it? It's the 4th of August, 2008. I've got fresh popcorn. I'm eating it in the morning. It's the breakfast of champions. Anyway, yeah, I got that over there at the convenience store. That's right over the way. They give it out free. It's fresh. So, why am I making a vlog today? I actually had another vlog planned. And I'm going to just do that blah, 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 vlog. Vlog. It's still early. I'm going to do that vlog either today. No, not today. I usually try to put two vlogs on in one day. I don't want to cannibalize the other views I might have gotten from the previous vlog. But uh, but I will be doing that vlog soon. It has to do with some uh, recommendations for music and such, but we'll get to that later. Because right now, as often happens, I'll start to think, I'll, I'll think I'm either not going to make a vlog for a while, or I have other plans for, like today, for a different kind of vlog. And then I'll watch YouTube videos. I usually start the day off when I should be working. <laughs> oh, my boss is going to kill me. Good thing I'm my own boss. Yay! Uh, but I usually start the day off viewing you know, videos on YouTube. Uh, it helps me wake up in the morning. And uh, I saw old Kurt's vlog where he says, I think I finally get it. And he talks about how he and his friend decide to watch TV, TiVo on TV. TiVo TV, right? And apparently you can watch YouTube through TiVo now. And he, he realized, it dawned on him that this is probably the future of YouTube, is that it becomes its own network and such. And uh, the reason I want to explain or vlog about this is I, I'm, I, I'm trying to think how to say this without sounding a jerk, but I've always realized this myself, in a sense, okay? But it's not, it's not like a bad thing. Uh, you know, because Kurt... He seems to be depressed about it and wonders if he should even bother the vlog. It's like, yes, vlog! Vlog, Kurt! Vlog! Uh, that's what's so great about the site. We don't need people giving it up because it's on TV. That doesn't make sense, Kurt. No offense. That doesn't make sense. Why? They vlog, the vloggers are part of this. This is, that's part of this whole ball of wax that we got you too. That's why people tune in. That's one of the reasons why people tune in. Yeah, people tune in to see video clips. They always they always tune in to see video clips also. A predominant amount of people have always done it to see those clips. Whether they're legally <clears throat> put up or whether they're officially put up, that's why a lot of people come here. But that's always been since the beginning as much as anything else. And that would be the same if they put YouTube on TV. But here's the thing. When I first heard about YouTube and understood what it really was, and by that I mean that anybody can put up their videos for free, and, of course, the videos with videos we all put up in some term, in some way can generate revenue. Because if somebody's watching our videos specifically, they're giving a hit to the site, and that can generate revenue through YouTube. So it becomes benefit, you know, benefit to you know, YouTube there. There. But, uh, yeah, this, this site, okay, here's the way I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong if anybody knows the actual beginnings, but as I understand, Steve and Chad both started YouTube as a, as a video sharing site. Not a file sharing site, a video sharing site. And the way I understand it, that was for people, you know, who have home videos and such. It was a way of, of, uh, you know, sharing videos. It was, I mean, a lot of people, here's the thing. A lot of people really big in the vlogging community seems to think this thing was created for vlogging. And again, as far as I know, it wasn't created for vlogging. Vlogging became something because of this technology, because of this site, because of the viral video lent itself to that. But that's not what it began as. as, as again, as far as I know, Steve and Chad meant for it to be a, a site for people to share their videos with their friends and family. And then other people realized you know, bright thinking people, of course, hey, you know, I got this blog, what if I did it on video and shared it with other people? And so you had that, and then, of course, there's other people say, well, I like these clips of these shows, I want people to look at these shows, and or these music videos I enjoy and all, because let's 
get down to it. When the corporations are getting all like down on people, putting up clips of their show, I know this is another discussion, but and I've discussed it plenty of times. But of course, it's it's basically free advertisement. Come on, and uh, you know, and usually people can't put up a whole show anyway, or they do it in several parts, and the quality is compressed and all that. So it's not going to be competition. I'm sorry, I never believe that. But those, but basically, what I'm getting is there's another group of people who put these clips, and why? Because they want to share something they enjoy. That's something in the human condition that most of us have. If we like something, we want to share it with others. We want them to see it. So, you have the vlogging. All, all of this, in a sense, sharing, in a sense, uh, video sharing again. People want to share their views and opinions and vlogs. People want to share what they enjoy from other entertainment mediums with the other uh, people on YouTube and say, look at this, I think this is great, don't you? And then there was people like me who originally started out, I didn't do vlogs, I did the YouTube, uh, I mean, I did the Happy Show clips on YouTube. I wanted to show and promote my show on, on public access, and it doesn't make me any money. It's <laughs> And I, I own that, but it don't make me any money. Public access is not a money-making endeavor, uh, and I don't have hardly any budget, as you can tell if you watch the Happy Show, but I can try my best, damn it. And... Uh, but but anyway, the happy show I wanted to get out there. I mean, if you're if you're on video, if you make videos, if you're on video of whether it's long whatever, you want people to see it. Um, and and I of course made the show, and this was this was an avenue for me. And then of course, as this community grew, as YouTube as a site grew, yes, corporations saw that both in the sense of Google and and uh, you know to decide to buy it. Viacom decides to try and crush it because it's competition, let's be honest. That's the main reason they want to get rid of it. In fact, Kurt, when you bring up about, yes, it wants to be its own network, I I predicted this uh, whenever I said that about my Viacom situation. Viacom saw this as a threat because it is the new form of entertainment. And I don't think, I hope, I pray that YouTube understands all of this is YouTube. The vlogging is YouTube. The sharing of clips is YouTube, even though I know they got the legal issues there. That's YouTube. And original entertainment and content is YouTube. And this is all part of that wax. This is all that world of YouTube. This is what makes people come here and different. It's a variety of things. And it's a lot of it's user generated. It's user generated content. A lot of it is. And, uh, of course, the corporations, anytime there's money to be made or any kind of new, exciting technology, the corporations get their hands. And then you got celebrities who have YouTube accounts. you got big uh, recording companies, and you got movie companies and all that to have their YouTube accounts. you have political figures. You have, you know, the presidential political figures have their own YouTube account. You have authors. You have everything. And, my God, it's great. I think it's wonderful. I mean, I might criticize things about YouTube in the past, usually technical issues, but uh, as a rule, you know, it's it's wonderful. And I think don't don't be disheartened because there's because it wants to be on a network. I mean, to me, it's like that's getting you out there more, Kurt. That's getting everybody out there. Enjoy that. Live that. Hello, I got a message. Uh, live that all up. You know, that should be in, that should be more energizing, I would think, you know, that you can actually be out there. If people thought, I mean, is it, I'm asking this sincerely, is there some people out there, I mean, or you or anybody else, you think it's just supposed to be a small knit thing because it can still be that. That's the thing about the way YouTube is set up. There can be their small areas of thing, but I mean, I, I, I don't want it to necessarily be small myself. I want everybody to be a part of this. This is what's great. When I first came to YouTube when I was first told of it, I thought, my God, it's public access on the Internet in a sense. And in some ways it is, because anybody can put up their content within reason. Uh, there are guidelines and everything, and there needs to be guidelines. We can't, this is not a porno site. If it would they have guidelines, this thing would be overran with porno, let me tell you. It's close enough sometimes as it is. But it is a, a way, a new form of entertainment. This is the future of entertainment. This is our choice. We can choose on a site like this. This is, again, why Viacom and other corporations that are short-minded hate it. 
Or maybe they're not so sure might, in this respect. Like I said, maybe they're just trying to crush something that they know is the future of entertainment. And that's what you got to look at. It's the future, not just of entertainment, because vlog, but vlogging is entertainment. Let's be honest. A lot of people, if they didn't think you, your vlogs were entertaining, even if they think it's enlightening or, or touching or whatever, if it wasn't, if it didn't touch them on some entertainment level, would they watch it? So that that's part of it. If you got to understand, that's part and parcel here. So that's my video vlog for today, and let me know what you think. Yay! <laughs>